This is Dr. Dave Clark sitting here with my wonderful daughter, one of my wonderful daughters, Leanne mm-hmm. Poulin, P O U L I N. French Canadian, I believe. Anyway, <laughs> but uh, she married a French Canadian. And she is just beginning a coaching ministry. She's been trained at Liberty University. She has a degree mm-hmm. from their excellent counseling program uh, online. Then you went there a little bit too. Yes. Right? You had some. Yeah, time some at... classes were there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. So she is has a, a whole coaching ministry now that I think many of you could uh, take advantage of. Or if you, if it's not right for you, it's gonna be right for somebody that you know. People know people. And if you can't trust therapists in this family, <laughs> I, I can't help you. I mean, really? Come on, this is the best. <laughs> so what's one area, Leanne, that, you, um, that you're focused on? Uh, there's a number of them, but what's mm-hmm. one that we had talked about? So one of my main areas is gonna be how to speak up for yourself. So finding your own voice, learning how to confront problems and you know, learning how to have those hard conversations with somebody when you need to. So kind of some some of the things are like, there's kind of three main times when you need to have those conversations. So when you've been hurt by somebody or upset by somebody, right. when you need to say no because you don't wanna do something and when you need something from somebody else. So those are kind of the main three I think that I've kind okay. of narrowed it down to. And like, so just figuring out how do I approach this hard conversation and how do I start having this conversation when I'm afraid of all these other things that could happen or that might happen. That's kind of yeah. the, one of the main areas right now is you know finding your own style of confronting a problem and having a hard conversation. I think that's very important. This is a version of find, having your voice, finding mm-hmm. your voice and using it. Right. Of course, even with a decent guy, a decent husband who's a good guy, not a narc, mm-hmm. th- this is critically important because mm-hmm. men are dense. But <laughs> most of us are, we don't, I don't get it. Sandy has to be clear and direct with me. Mm-hmm. Mom doesn't need your program, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> we need to soften her anyway. But so many ladies, yeah, they're, they're scared, they don't wanna do it, they're not used to doing it, right. they weren't raised that way, mm-hmm. uh, and so they don't, they don't do it. Right, right, you stay in the same place forever, hoping it's gonna get better by doing nothing. You know, or or you really need something to happen. You're not getting your needs met because you can't speak up and say, I need you to help out more or I need time for this or whatever, you know? So it's kind of, it's finding your own voice to speak up for the things that you need the most. So And, and you'll work these ladies, or it could be men too, but mostly ladies, you'll work them through the blocks, things that are preventing them from doing mm-hmm. that. And then you can show them exactly how to do it. Right. With accountability, mm-hmm. uh, you know, instruction. Well, I think they'll be critically important. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, I think one of the main things when you're when you need to have a hard conversation is you know making sure it's a good time to have that conversation with that person that you have enough time to actually address it. It's not going to be rushed and crazy, and that you know doing a little bit at a time is okay too. It doesn't have to be solved in that first you know right. main conversation, but it just have, having a good time to do it is important too. You know, it's not right before bed or it's not when somebody's hungry and tired. You know, but finding a time to connect with that person and, and start having that hard conversation is is critical. Right. Well, what a great life skill and a relationship skill that not many people have. Yeah. So many homes you grow up, it's not done. Even if you were had a happy home, no mm-hmm. one taught you how to do that. Mm-hmm. It might have been behind closed doors, mom and dad. Right. So you, you haven't seen it. Mm-hmm. Well, and I, I have dealt with this. I feel like that's why I care about it. Like I had a hard time being able to speak up or tell people what I need or, you know, struggling with people pleasing and trying to make sure people are happy. It's like a middle child kind of thing, I think, too. Yeah. And so, you know, you, you want everybody to be happy or you want everything to be OK. You don't want conflict and and fighting and whatever. But I think sometimes it's important for you to just be able to express what happened or express when you're upset because otherwise you're holding it all in and you're stressed out right. and you're you're going to make yourself sick because you're just holding all of it in and you're not making any changes you know right it's not just about the other person like we were mm-hmm. talking about earlier this is right. good for the lady herself yes. Yes. whatever the response might be, and there may be some resistance to it or some backlash in a sense, mm-hmm. but they're hurting themselves by not speaking up. Right, right. You might not get the response that you want, you know, or maybe it doesn't go that well, but it's important for you to be able to say, you know, it. I was upset when this happened, or I was hurt when this happened, or I need more of this from you. And when you never do that, you're never gonna get those things either. So, right. you know, you might not, there's a chance, I guess, at least of getting those things by addressing it, you know? Well, you have a shot. <laughs> yeah. Because the guy's never going to get it. Yeah. I mean, men don't get it. I mean, it could be friends, too. It doesn't even have well, to be men. It could be true. friends who have hurt you or said something that, you know, you yeah. took a certain way or whatever. Um, it's just 
that's how you have healthy, strong relationships, you know? I've told so many ladies over the years, 40 years, if you act like, a, and men too, if you act like a doormat, you'll be a doormat. You'll be mm -hmm. used as a doormat. Yeah. And the other person doesn't even know they're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's right. what you've allowed. Like, right, right, right. It's just a form of enabling. Mm -hmm. Well, this I think this could be a really great area. So if, if you need this kind of instruction and help from Leanne, she's trained, she's from the Clark family. <laughs> what can I tell you? <laughs> and, uh, and she's very insightful and she's a caring person as well. So yeah, she can teach you these things. And I think for a lot of our audience, it would also, the people that we're dealing with, uh, even victims of narcs, could be very mm -hmm. important part of their personal growth. Right. So that guy's not changing. Forget mm -hmm. about that. But this is for you and part of getting strong enough to leave and even the rest of your life could be critical. Mm -hmm. Or it could be, yeah, I'm, I've got a good guy, mm -hmm. but I still can't do this. Mm -hmm. And so your needs don't get met. Right. Uh, can't, can't happen. And being able to do this can help you determine if that person is a good person or not. You know, it's their response to it. It's how it's handled, how the conversation True. goes. You know, it is, it's important even in future relationships or future friendships or whatever yeah. to, to be able to address problems and see how that person reacts and see how it's handled. Yeah, so right. This is great premarital stuff too. Mm -hmm. So many ladies are, are scared. Oh no, I got, got rid of this narc, divorced him, good. Mm -hmm. but, oh man, I'm terrified of getting another one. Right. Well, this is a good test. How mm -hmm. does he handle these situations when you speak up? Because narcs don't like that. Right. Uh-uh. <laughs> Very good. Well, how can people reach you? <laughs> Well, there's a few ways, um, mainly the website. Um, my website is leannepoolincoaching.com and you can send me a message through there. You can set up your session through there, your first call. I'm also on social media. I'm on Instagram and Facebook and on YouTube a little bit, just you know, sharing some content and sharing some, some more information on these kinds of things, so. Very good, you're mm -hmm. going to love her and, <laughs> and really be helped by her as well. Very good, well, thanks for uh, spending some time with me. Yeah, thanks for having me. Cool.